Hello, how are you guys doing? Good, I hope. Um, so things happened today. There was something else I was going to announce right off the bat, but I have to address the elephant in the room. Homestuck 2 is now a thing. Apparently I've agreed to read 300 pages more than is in existence now, which I, I guess Andrew Hussey decided was just, you know, hey, he has to read 300 more than exists. Well, just here's five more with the promise that there'll be more. Um, so that's cool. How about the thing that I actually wanted to talk about today, tell you guys about and get you guys hyped about? I'm not going to be streaming at my normal time tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be actually streaming, uh, fairly early in the day. And that's because I'm going to be streaming as a part of Variety is Hope. Um, it's, uh, it's a charity. It's the first one that we've done and it's to support basically the charity being able to facilitate us doing charity stuff in the future. So, um, if you are interested, I will be live tomorrow with two different blocks. Uh, well, you know, one two hour block that I'm going to be, um, you know, doing all at once. Uh, it's going to be two different games. Uh, the first one is going to be a board game with a bunch of other streamers. Uh, Norix, Jacoby, and Hootie are going to be joining me in this really spooky board game. And then I'm going to be doing, um, SCP with, um, bits jump scares. Basically, if you, you know, do, if you throw bits at the charity, then it'll jump scare me, which is fun. Um, but anyway, I just, while you guys are here, I just want you guys to know, go to Twitter right now for me. Okay. Um, go to Twitter and just follow the at variety is hope uh twitter account uh, i believe it is literally just at variety is hope uh and it's got this cool like pumpkin thing with two hands holding each other and there's like a rainbow situation going on um follow that are we shilling the charity yes i'm gonna do that at the beginning thank you natalie uh jubilee sure thank you for the 43 months of support um, I still need to read up all the way to Homestuck 2. Um, I was going to promise like, hey, I'll, 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 watch, I'll read more Homestuck 2. If, but, you know, I, I still have to read the 300 I promised out of Homestuck 2. Which wasn't even a thing when I promised it. So that's cool. Anyway, here's Homestuck 1. Um, the prequel. Warf, thank you for the two months of support. Um, oh, I need to, uh, pull up a thing. Where is it? Uh, you, you get out of here. Where was in Homestuck chart? There we go. Edit. Now, someone actually emailed me about Homestuck, and instead of it being like, the relationship with Peta and the fucking horse guy have is actually really sweet. It reminds me of my relationship with my boyfriend. It's not one of those, those messages. It's actually a good one. They actually gave us information on... Uh, apparently there's an option to transparent selection. So you could, you could choose things you can select stuff and then it, and that's not how it works. How the fuck does this tool work? What the fuck? Yeah. Anyway, they gave me some tips on how to use, uh, paint and I, I didn't apparently comprehend any of it. So there's that. Anyway, it only works if you set your background color to white. Well, it is. Oh, there it is. There it works. See, thank you. And now I can do things. Someone emailed me about how to use MS Paint better. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they opted that, that I needed to know about Homestuck, which should be fair. Thank you, because I was really scared when I got an email, and it was like, yeah, you should do this about Homestuck, and it's like, oh, fuck. Anyway, uh, you try to be the white text guy. We're on page 2,253 if you want to follow along. Uh, Homestuck 2, have I missed an episode or what? No, no, you still got to do this shit. Um... 
I don't remember reading all the way through this one, so I'm going to read it through anyway. And if it's wrong, then it's wrong. Arby's just posted about Homestuck, too. Great. <sighs> you try to be the white text guy, but fail to be the white text guy. No one can be the white text guy except for the white text guy. The white text guy is known as Dr. Scratch. Doc Scratch? He is the officer of the indestructible demon known as Elmo. His job is to pave the way for the arrival of his master, who will be summoned upon the termination of the universe. He has worked at this task for many centuries, and will continue doing so until the great undoing. Scratch is Alternia's first guardian. Every planet is dead. Okay, I think I did read this, but I just want to make sure. Scratch is Alternia's first guardian. Every planet destined for intelligent life has such an entity meant to protect it. It is to facilitate the planet's ultimate purpose. A final guardian is... Typically, almost as old as the planet itself, and each is as unique and circuitous origin through the knots of paradox space. They can be born into a great diversity of forms, though they share a common, especially potent genetic sequence. The co code grants them near omnipotence when merged with the host of great intelligence near omniscience as well. What will he do? Well, it's up to him. All we can do is stand here and watch. Alex Wing Ace, thank you for the two months of support. Well, welcome back. Um, I I'm hoping that things are going well for you. What is he up to now? Well, it's hard to say since we're not telling him what to do. Guardians can never be told what to do. Neither the omnipotent kind nor the ordinary kind who raise kids in house. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guardians as in. I was going to say, like, what the fuck does that mean? It's like that. That's another term for a parental unit is a guardian. So that's. That's fair. Um, neither omnipotent kind nor the ordinary kind who raise their kids in houses is a universal law of reality. It looks like he's been wondering about his next move in the game he's playing with some wicked troll girl down on his planet. Usually these matches are no contest, but she's been getting closer to beating him lately and he has no idea how that's possible. Uncertainty, though rare, is quite troubling sensation for the omniscient. Does it say Minecraft? I swear to God, it does it say it's Minecraft? Hold up. Hold the fucking phone. Does it say it's Minecraft? Does it say it's goddamn Minecraft? I swear to fucking God. I updated this fucking... It does not. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, cool. The other day, it would not change off of, of Minecraft. And I was about to, like, just suplex my computer. Minecraft 1. Okay, cool. We're still on Homesec 1. I, I'm... Low-key upset that I have to specify that I'm streaming Homestuck 1. Like, yeah. Yeah. What's this? It, it appears someone is contacting him. More bothersome, certainly. Certainly. Uh, how is it that this youngster is able to relay the unsolicited message? He doesn't even have an account name. Oh, fuck. Alright, hold up. Hey, white text guy, I have a tip for you. How are you able to contact me? Never mind. I figured it out instantly. Really? Uh, through my li in limitless intellect. Occasionally, I discover there are things that I have not always known. It gives me an the opportunity to make deductions, which are practically always flawless. It's gratifying. Okay. It's neat, I guess. Do, do we really need a homestuck too? Guy, I, I, oh, and someone gave me bits a minute ago. Who gave me bits? Like I was, I was spacing out and just being dumb. I'm very sorry. Someone gave me homestuck bits, and I didn't even thank them. Thank you. Yes. Because the epilogues fucking suck. Okay. How about this? How about this? Um, use the emote. Vote yeah. Y e a. If the Homestuck epilogues were good, use the uh, vote nay if they were bad. Thank you for the uh, the uh, Homestuck bits, Emily. All right, I'm just gonna like show chat real quick, so that way you guys on After Hours know what what we're getting. So it's like. That that's that's kind of what people are saying. Um, 
I don't know what people are saying are thinking on after hours. You can let me know there. But uh, the general consensus seems to be it's very divisive. And that kind of is what I've been getting. Um, so, yeah. Also, yeah, Mubot is set to kill, but uh, Homestuck2.com is a thing. Like, literally, just Homestuck, then the number 2.com. Um... There's mixed emotions. Um, everything about Homestuck is divisive. I began to learn this. Uh, I'm not stuck. I didn't do it. I didn't tell them to put... I didn't do it. No, Natalie, don't you blame this on me. I didn't do this one. <laughs> if you do anything dot anything, it will not only delete your current comment, but everything else you've said up till that point and temp ban you for like five seconds. Ah. <sighs> Uh, that's neat, I guess. You asked your clever friend with the colorful spectacles to trace the source of my messages. He established a relay to your messages to reach this source through some sort of computational proxy. I gather he'd recovered from his implementation as a weapon in the sabotage of your mutual friend, whom you both believe to be dead. Oh my god, white text guy, shut up. I'm trying to give you a message here. I have a name. It's not white text guy. Oh, well, that is it. I'm not going to tell you my name. But if you wish, you may refer to me as Mr. Vanilla Ma Milkshake. Okay, cool. So everyone just calls him White Text Guy, right? Like, no one actually refers to him as that. Like, what did he... Doc Scratch? What was it? You're so weird. Why would I... It is perfectly in keeping with the habit which you will develop in the future. I doubt it. Why? Because it sounds silly and frivolous. Blar? Why do you keep derailing me? You're right, Silex. Is working with me and we have something important. We have some important business for you to consider. Wait, you said we believe our friend is dead. She Is she not? I, yes, you said. So this is like straight up. This is straight up just like talking to God, right? Like this is the God of their planet, right? Holy fuck. OMG, you're bad at this game. Thank you for the subs. That's very kind of you. This year was the 10 year anniversary of Homestuck, so I guess the sequel being announced is fitting, I guess. Uh, congrats, I recognize a couple of those names. It's a lot of subs. Like, straight up talking to Jesus. Like, imagine you just like hopped on your computer and you were just like, yo, Jesus, how's it, how's it going? You doing all right? How's it hanging? <laughs> Uh, how far into this stream are we? 13 minutes into Sacrilege. All right. That's a good name for a song. Um, let's see. Uh, we believe our friend is dead, and you said that she's not dead. As soon believed that she is not dead. Both statements are true. Yes, I said, do you believe that she is dead? And soon you will believe that she is not. Both statements are true. And yet, each exhibits a trace of falsehood. Why did I bother asking? No wonder she snapped. Uh, she's got a dial with your stupid riddles all the time. She's got to deal with your stupid riddles all the time. Anyway, can you just help me get revenge so we can call it a night? Why would I involve myself in the paltry feud between the extent to which I already have? I believe the need... To exert such influence has come to an end. Because you'll want to when you hear what I have to say. I doubt it. Haven't you wondered how she can come close to beating you in games lately? Honestly, I'm surprised you haven't deduced it yet with your shiny white super brain. It's disturbing. But sometimes that's the nature of these hollows in my perception. It feels quite a bit like dark water sloshing around the cavity of my head. Oh, what do you know of this? She's cheating. She always cheats if she can find it. Why would you... Okay, so, I don't really know, maybe Jesus is, like, not the correct, like, it, it seems like Doc Scratch is adversarial, because he's working to make sure Lord English, who is only spoken of in incredibly scary ways, um, 
He's working to his ends. So why the fuck would you be like, hey, you want to know how my friend is still doing stuff? Yeah, he's evil. So why are you helping? Why are you helping him? He's like a polite secretary, but he's still a bad dude. Lucifer is more accurate. Lucifer isn't that bad of a guy. That's sacrilege number two. And we're only two minutes away from the last sacrilege. Um, revenge? Dude doesn't go around announcing that his master is an evil demon lord. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. That's fair. We know him as that motherfucker. Lord English equals evil. Also, no spoilers. Yeah, no e spoilers, generally speaking, with the stream. Um, are you going to explain all of Homestuck today? I have two hours. I'll do it. I'll do you better. All right. This is Homestuck. Just, like, take a clip of this and just, like, rewatch it for two hours until you understand. This is all of Homestuck that you need to know. Up until about page 2,200 something. And if you don't understand this, then you're not going to understand Homestuck 2. You need to understand at least this. Punished Abraham Lincoln is absolutely, ex like, entirely the point. I forgot who the pixelated guy was. That was, uh, like, that, that, that's, um, Elon Musk. And he's here for... God, I, I had a reason. I don't really remember what. He was here for a reason. When are you going to announce the release of Rev Scarecrow 2? I, I thought about, like, you know how, um... You know how, like, in Watchmen, like, whenever one of the heroes would die, they would pass the mantle down to their kids, and then there'd be, like... The, the something or other too or whatever like how fucking weird would it be when like ninja gets old and he has kids and his kids grow up and he passes the mantle on to them or we do it with our own like vine sauce crew right so then it's like not even like the original crew anymore it's like rev three and like you'll like five or something like vine sauce two just like JoJo, yeah. Except for, like, it's literally, like, you don't get your own identity. You're just whatever, too. Seems really, actually... It's it's a little bit of wishful thinking to think that we'd get to Joel 5. Let's stick with Joel 1 for now. See how far that goes. Um, it feels a bit like dark water sloshing about in the cavity of my head. Do you? What do you know of this? She's cheating. She always cheats if she can find a way. Lastly, she used the game's same advantage she used against me when we play the game. But she told me about it. She tells me a lot about stuff that, uh, like that to probably rub it in my face. But she never risks telling you. What advantage is this? Hold on. I have to talk to my partner in crime for, for a second. I thought you were hers. Uh, okay, so Vriska crippled Tavros, right? I remember that. Ardea is tormenting Vriska with ghosts, right? So Vriska used Solex to kill Ardea. And Treasy is mad about it, so she's making a deal with the devil. Okay. That seems, that seems fair. Did I hear about Homestuck 2? Yeah, I was planning on streaming this today because I was like, I don't know what the fuck Cascade Day is. I know Cascade is a, a flash that I've got saved because the apparently if you watch it on Homestuck.com, it doesn't work anymore. But I've got like the, the Newgrounds version saved. Uh, so that way I can like, you know, wa watch it uh, once we get to that point. But apparently today is Cascade Day. So just happy Cascade Day or whatever it is. Um, I know today is a, a Homestuck day. I saw, I was actually out and about yesterday and I saw, um, some Fago. 
there was a place that I could buy Fago out. I was like hanging out with Fred. Um, we went um, axe throwing with um, him and uh, my wife and I. We all went out axe throwing, and it was fun. Um, there's pictures on Twitter. Anyway, uh, Fago exists. Uh, four thirteen plus six twelve equals ten twenty five. Okay, sure. Speedway sells Spago. Okay, Spago any good? <sighs> Axe throwing. Well, okay. Me and Tilda got to like the finals. We she brought some of her friends as well. And so it was uh, me versus her because we're the only ones who have done it before. And um, uh, she won. Like there was the she had the clutch throw that I didn't. I, I missed. I didn't have my axe stick. And it's like, but it was very close. But she won by like a solid one point, which at that point was a very hard fought point. Um. It's sugary garbage, but it's okay, so yay or nay. Um, I, I've got, like... I'm drinking a Coke right now, so I'd probably like it. Weren't you supposed to be on vacation by now? No, 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 no. Like, um, that's a week from now. A little less than a week from now. And I've got all the, the JoJo stuff. Not all of it recorded, but uh, I'm trying to catch up. I watched two hours of JoJo today to try and catch up. <laughs> Because I didn't record some yesterday because I got just upset with the way that the thing was. You know what? You guys don't care. I need to be reading uh, this and not talking about JoJo. Um, she went too far this time and she knows it. She's got to pay. Justice is long overdue. The only sad part is how easy it's going to be. It'll take no... We'll take no skilled manipulator to orchestrate her downfall. She's a waste of your talents. Contact partner in crime. Hey, Friska. Anything to say? Uh, no. About what? About killing her. After you said you wouldn't. Oh, yeah, that. I thought we were done talking about it. We concluded that I messed up and it was awful and horrible in every way. I can only feel so awful, you know. Here, I'm banging my head against the desk. Bang, bang, bang. Are you happy? This is... Has anyone made a, um... Has anyone made a, uh... uh, uh fucking, like apology like video for her where she just does this and that's the whole video because yeah it's fucking how most of those apology videos go like ah oh, you know what I messed up and it's bad so whatever Vriska got cancelled Vriska apology video and that's that's all she says but it goes on for more time, and it's just like, she's not even fake crying. She's just like, I don't know, you fucking deal with it, nerds. Not really. Oh, what do you want from me? I'm not sure. I guess I'm looking for some reason to change my mind. I don't know what you can say that'll do it. I sort of hope there's something, though. You, know, you should lighten up a bit. Maybe even congratulate me. Great job, Briscoe. Singly, hang handily taking out Team Charge like that. No more competition for the low-class clowns. No, that wasn't it. From those low-class clowns. I was like, wait a minute, aren't you blue blood? Why the fuck? <coughs> They're all red bloods. Uh, ish. Ish. Uh, no, that wasn't it. Oh, uh, okay, well, change your mind about it. Uh, change your mind about what? What are you about to do, Preo? I was just going to kill you. You mean for your tree with all your amazing powers? Tell me, what kind of powers do tree girls have? Swinging from vines and stuff? Trees don't have vines. Sometimes I let other people swing from ropes, though. Yeah, anyway, you'll be dead in a couple of minutes. Yeah, right. Complete and total muse muscle beast shit. If you don't believe me, why don't you consult your little advantage? It seems to have all the answers. I don't need to know that to know that you're bluffing yeah but you're going to do it anyway addiction is a powerful thing see ya she can't be serious 
What could possibly lead to the demise? Oh, it's like a cue ball. Oh, that's weird. Someone says, I love Vriska, but only after Act 5, Act 2, she was a fucking bitch. Cue ball. Yeah, it's like a cue ball, but it's like a magic eight ball. Yeah, hmm. She can't be serious. What could possibly lead to the demise in a matter of minutes? What could it possibly be? You consult your magic cue ball, an extremely rare treasure that you recently plundered from an ancient crypt. Uh, one may be uh, one of many rumored to be hidden across the globe. Each time uh, one belonged to a strange and powerful man, fabled to live in the green moon, but has since managed to escape his vision. But, yeah. It is said to make predictions with alarming precision and specificity. Unfortunately, it lacks a portal on the surface which allows you to view the prediction. So who's to say for sure whether or not the predictions were accurate? It would require some sort of x-ray vision, or just maybe. Vision eightfold. You channel your powerful eyesight through your customized lens and whisper the faithful little oracle. Should you be worried about Trizzy's threat? Don't trust Vriska apologist. She sucks all the way through the entire comment. Alright. No spoilers, but... Um, Yay, nay, in chat. Um, if you, it, yeah, yay, if you think that um, Vriska sucks all the way through. Nay, if not. Uh, the thing, if you don't know and you just want to be involved. Don't start Vriska course. I don't care. I don't give any shits. More yays than nays. Considerably more yays than nays, and then there's one the thing. Chat, stop telling Rev what to think. Nay. Uh, thank you for the homestuck bits, uh, Emily G Pro. Well, Vriska is um she's she's a blue blood, but she's not she's not the where's my chart? She's not the Logan Paul blue blood. Apparently she's something else. She's a different one. So that that's not right. I feel like that chart needs to be a little bit bigger because it's actually incredibly important. Um, she is a Logan Paul. Okay, well then she's a Logan Paul. Fuck her. Like, I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to print anything with Logan Paul's face on it. I'm pretty sure he's copyrighted it. Um... I informed Mr. Vanilla Milkshake about his missing orb. She has what? Oh, little bull. Fine. If you're so smart, then answer this. How's it going to happen? How? I will explode in your face. Oh, fuck. That's probably not good for her. Well... Pour one out. In the aftermath of more recent misfortune, one retrieves his dead custodian from the rubble below. Another finds her struggling to survive. You guess you gotta put her down. The question is, do you have the luck to get it done? Would a sufficient role even quanti quantify as good luck in this case? You don't know. Thank you for the home sucks bits there, uh, Emily G Pro. Maybe dead girl's onto something. Maybe the only way you can beat your bad luck is not caring about the outcome. Seven of fluorite also land, narrowing the field down to a full eight to the eighth. One tumbles in the air and will decide among the eight remaining techniques. Guillotine. Oof. Wow. Brutal. Au revoir, Spider-Mom. Your mercy killing triggers another avalanche. More rotten luck. What's her deal? What's her deal? What do you mean? Did you just zap Aquinas into the game? His hive disappeared. Are you not happy about that? Hell no. You're supposed to get your surprise present to it, uh, from him. 
and he was keeping from he was keeping from me, but only temporarily. And then we were gonna jump into the game together as co-leaders. Remember, you were about to be killed by his hive. Proceeding with that plan would have made sense. We certainly don't know, need two dead players, but. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen, but you were planning it all along. You were planning it all along. All this. I know a schemer when I see one. Yes, it was the plan. I had to go this way. Wait, how did he just uh, pronounce Quinus? Quinus? It, it, it like, like, Ju Judas Aquinas? Equinus? Equinus? Equinus. All right, here's the deal. Some of you guys might be new. I'm profoundly stupid. There's no in in there. I'll throw an in in there wherever I want. I'll throw an in wherever I want. If I want to throw an in in there, there's going an end in a word. Uh, we had to... Way to go the way we said it. Uh, we were going to give a present and you convinced him to make it for you, me. Would have gotten made if not. It wouldn't have gotten made. Oh, this is the weird robot thing that he was like trying to make into like a sex doll because he's a creeper. Uh, Emily G Pro, thank you for the another Homestuck bits there. Uh, and then Solanuma, thank you for the three months of support. Uh, Cerulean, Indigo, Purple, Violet. Also, apparently I got someone's color wrong. Like, I got Nepeta's green wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that by changing it to a different wrong color. Excuse me. Um. There we go. All right. Perfect. All right. Moving on. No, it's okay. The kitty can say that color it's fine um that's actually the perfect color make it a dull dull green well in that case no um we're gonna get you a present have your body back again and everything would be fine and we could go back to being friends again were were we ever really friends yeah i don't know i felt like we we're even if you didn't think so, uh, even if you didn't think so, I guess I'm not very good at acting like a friend or saying stuff like, hey, friend, you're my friend. Doesn't really occur to me, but we were. Why would you play with me if you didn't think I was your friend? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Barf. More of this apathetic baloney. Why don't you cut the ghost girl act already? You get it. I get it. You're dead and spooky. Ribbit. Uh, okay. Pretty odd. Sorry. It sounds like you just said ribbit if... You can say ribbit if you want to. It's a weird way. Uh, it almost makes you seem sound normal. Okay. Hey, friends. You're my friends, friends. Be friends with me. The friends. The friend friends. Friendly friends. Let's see. Uh, sorry. Wait. Ribbit. Um, so what's up now? I guess you and <laughs> co-lead since you managed to usurp me, that cunning bastard. I guess, uh, I follow you into the game instead. Fine by me. I guess I'll follow you guys. Just give me my orders, boss. No, you're not on the blue team. Oh, what the fuck? You're never going to be. I get it. You s I finally see you now. This is your revenge. You finally did it, Megiddo. You got me pretty good. Well played. It's not revenge. You were always supposed to be on the red team. You'll believe me later when you wake up. What a load of shit. You've been plotting your revenge since day one, and I fell for it like a sucker. I can't even say I blame you. I never thought about revenge at all. But why not? I killed you. I don't care. You're so infuriating. Why can't you hate me? It would be a lot easier that way. Yeah, sometimes it is easier when someone hates you because then you feel like, you know, I don't know, things are in balance. You did something wrong to someone and, and you know, they hate you or whatever. And then, you know, it, it feels like 
there's a certain like you do a thing and a thing happens there's an equilibrium to the world but she doesn't have that she's not getting that right now and it's upsetting her um sometimes there are people that i want to hate me um and there are some people that i wish wouldn't but you know that's that's life and it's weird when it's not the way you think it should um that being said um she's not getting it and it's good for her because yeah someone being indifferent towards you or accepting you is actually sometimes worse it depends Maybe you should just rip out my heart and yeah, like this whole thing, her meltdown here is just her not being able to come to terms with the dissonance that is being caused by her having killed someone and them not being mad about it. Like they should be like, she feels like they're justified in being because she herself feels bad about it. I guess I'm going to assume I would, I'm sort of putting my own spin on things because I assume that she feels bad about it. She may not. She may just want the attention. Like you're saying, I don't know. Um, so I'm fearing, why can't you hate me? It would be a lot easier that way. I'd be, or at least feel bothered or annoyed or something. God, maybe you should just rip out my heart and my chest and pound it into a bloody pulp here on my desk with my super strong robot arm. Look at that. There's more nasty blue blood all over me. Why not? Maybe might as well open the floodgates and paint my whole hive with this enviable cerulean swill because it's certainly up to me to feel emotions for both of us you miserable soulless witch i think she's just a soul at this point thank you again for the homestuck bits uh g pro i'm gonna go with g pro because i actually don't know if I'm, I'm gonna pronounce that right briska is traumatized and depressed yeah she um yeah i mean yeah she she could potentially hate herself um I hate you. I hate, 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 hate you. I only regret killing you because it made you so boring. Uh, sorry. I don't want to be on the red team. It's full of jerks who just think I'm a big jerk. They need you, though, and that's where you need to be. Carcat will be in touch with you soon. Oh, God, I can't wait for that conversation. And also, if it's any consolation, the teams are meaningless anyway. What do you mean, con what would... Why would that be consolation? It's more vague, spooky nonsense. Fuck you for trying to help you. Fuck the blue team. Fuck your conniving. Fuck Aquinas. Double dealing and stupid muscle beast you rode on, in on. And fuck you for saving my life. Fuck you. Uh, what's your favorite main character and your favorite antagonist out of the two you've already guessed? Uh, I'm going to go with Elmo as my favorite antagonist. And my favorite good guy... I mean, to be fair, I don't actually know if anyone is going to be a good guy. So let's go with who I know is currently a good guy. Um, da chat wants me to say Dave. Um, like, I like stories where things are a little bit like gray in their, their interpretation. Because no one is actually a good, like, I don't know. I'm not going to say no one's actually a good person. That's that's not true. I just... People have flaws. People do weird shit. And people want people to flee flawless now. And that's just unreasonable. Um, ambiguous. But you want to say that some people are good. Mutini. Yeah, no, it's Mutini. Never mind. There is one good character in this universe and it's Mutini. Uh, as soon as, and soon in a place known as the land of caves and silence, Equius, is that right? Let her know the deal. God, I fucking hate him. A deal. Here's the deal. Now that the game's begun, the plan will be modified slightly. We will not be co-leaders of the blue team. I alone will be the le leader. Is that understood? That's fine. Good. Wait, you have no objection? Are you sure? No, no, I'm okay with it. 
Do you typically embrace such a passive attitude when your superiors give you orders? I don't usually receive orders from superiors or otherwise, but really, it's fine. What? I think I should get a towel. I'm perspiring heavily again. Why? What's wrong? Uh, never mind. I'm trying to be professional about this. About what? What are you talking about? Forget it. It's just pleasant to, to consort with a, a, a lesser breeding who's clearly under st stands her place. Ugh! I fucking hate this guy. This guy is unredeemable. And by the end of this, I say something like, you know what? He's a good guy. I'd be surprised. No kink shaming. No, no. I think kink shaming is fine. When when it's weird, hierarchical, racist kink, then yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to make fun of you for it. Like, if at the end of this, like, I'm like, God damn it. Why did he have to die? He was so good for this world. He did so much. You know, like, no. No, racist kink shaming is, is acceptable. <laughs> I'm going to minimize chat for a minute. Um, actually, I can't without getting over there. But yeah, no. Uh, perfect. Then we're on the same page. I look forward... Oh, wait, no. I understood for some time that this would be my role to function as your server player and that you would be the team leader as first in the chain. Perfect. Then we're on the same page. I look forward to seeing how well you serve, uh, me, server player. It's not quite the word... meaning of the word server. What do you mean? As your server, I manipulate your environment to help you advance. I do not understand. Are you... are you saying that you're in a position of control over me? I suppose so. Oh. What? Oh my god. Oh, this is impropriety of a caliber I can't even. It's You're so low on the human spectrum as possible. It, to consider that someone so low could be in a position of authority over me is just so disgusting. You really are quite the snob. No, it's filthy. I need some air or some cold milk or a towel. I need my jerk-off towel. Where the fuck are my fresh towels? I mean, fiddlesticks. Please pardon, pardon my language. It won't happen again. Look, you look really agitated. Are you sure you're all right? I'm fine. It'll be fine. I just need to breathe and, and break something, possibly. Break something? Yes. It helps me relax. Oh, I understand. Do you? I like to break things. I didn't used to, but now I do. It's fun. Hello? Are you sure you're okay? Yes. You look do look really like you're sweating pretty hard. Just need a blast to tell. Where did that Arthur get off to? Maybe you should try and break something to calm down, perhaps. Do you want me to break something? Whoa, what? I could break something if you want. Do you... Want to break something? Kind of. I, I okay. Equinus, or equ equinus, equ. There's no in. Equinus. No, there's no in. Ec, equi, equius, 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 equius. I'm about to throw an absolute trap through your wall. Heads up. Yes, yes, that was wonderful. That was pretty cool. Could you pl please refrain from dipping into the vernacular of commoners? In fact, this is an order from your leader. Call things by their proper names. What? Do you want me to call it a bathtub? That sounds ridiculous. Nevertheless, do it. Fine. Wait. Wait. What? It, they actually call them bathtubs? But that's like slang? This is fucking... The fucking... Absolution trap is slang? Fuck you! I've spread so many goddamn hussy words. Blue blood vernacular is just human words. New speak is for low bloods. Okay. Emily G Pro, thank you for the more homestuck bits. You want me to call it bathtub? It sounds ridiculous. Nevertheless, do it. Fine. Could you please uh, do that again? What? You want me to throw the trap through your wall again? I mean, the tub? Yes. 
Is that an order? Yes. Wait, I don't know. What do you not know? Maybe I don't want to order you. Maybe I want you to do things that you want to do. Really have no idea what you're talking about. You could really uh, cause quite a bother for me with the power you wield. You can do... He is such a... This is such weird bottom energy. And it's like the weird not okay kind. He wants to get, he's, he wants to get, he wants to get dominated. That's his whole fucking thing. That's his character. He's, he's a racist asshole who wants to get dominated. God, I hate him. Everything I learn about him makes me hate him. He's a strong bottom? No, he's not a power bottom. He's whatever he's whatever the opposite of a power bottom is. Like Aqu Equinus is the main villain of Homestuck. I think he's the main villain of thought. Do we hate him more than Zebra though? We must know for science. Okay. Do I hate him more than Zebra? God, that's hard. Um, they're on the same tier, right? Do not call him a pillow princess. No, wait a minute. Hold up. Give me one sec. Ah, I see. What does starfishing mean? Hmm. All right. Well, thanks, Google. I really didn't need to know that. All right. Great. Anyway. Is that an insult? Like, I feel like that's... <sighs> you know what? You guys can... You can look that shit up on your own. <sighs> Do I hate the quote-unquote nice high blood or send me your feet guy? It's... It's really debatable. Um... Both of them are awful. Are they are they on the same tier? Are they the same blood cast? And where is that? In no, let's get this right cuz this is not this is not a like this is not a Logan Paul situation. This is a different situation entirely. They're all this is a Logan Paul. They're on the same blood cast. All right. Are they All right. So Friska is a Logan Paul, right? They're both indigo. Okay. So like a little bit more purple than this. So like there, I guess. That looks like not. Vriska is a Logan Paul. She's not. Vriska is to left a Logan Paul. Vriska is the same blood as Equius. Okay. They're indigo. Okay. They're indigo. All right. So the... the Tears are... Alright, hold up. I'm gonna just... Oh, it's gone too far. Alright, Vriska is a Logan Paul, but the color should be lighter. Okay. This is actually weirdly relevant, apparently. Alright, so let's just put that back, and then lighter, you say. So a little bit closer to that direction, but like there. That's not really indigo. That's a different color entirely. I don't really know what color that is. Um, I went to art school. All right, so that's this, right? Only Vriska is Cerulean. Okay, Vriska is one lower than Equus. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and move this over then. 
Let's go ahead and get this situation right. Let's get this right. All right, so is she a Logan Paul? Cerulean is Logan Paul. Good. Okay, cool. Got it. All right, so Logan Paul then now is... Uh, so this is the tier that Zebra and um, fucking this guy are at. Um, I don't even know what to call this. It's too purple. All right, I'll I'll bring it over to the. It needs to just be like a straight up purple, doesn't or blue? It needs to be like that blue. It's like a strong blue. It's like very hard for me to differentiate the colors at this point. Cobalt horse tier. I guess they're both horses of some design. Okay, so here's a question. We've already discussed how um, Andrew Hussey has a thing for horses in, like, the weirdest and worst ways, right? Um, why the fuck did he make the horse-like one the, the worst one? Like, the cringiest one. They're very different. Okay. Is it like... Is Vriska more that color? Is this right now? Is that Logan Paul color? That feels a little too light. He's kink shaming himself. Oof. Um, oof. All right. God, I hated that. I hated that answer because it makes a certain amount of logical sense to me that that is why he's like this. God, I hate that. Why did you say those words at me? All right, so this is like where the horsies are. And then just like, uh, fucking, boop. there we go. And then orange for horns. It's like a side profile of like the shittest horse you've ever seen drawn. Second shittest horse you've ever seen drawn, actually. Um, like so? The olive green that's animal, animal themed. Do, do I know about them yet? Who is that on this chart? And is... Like... Where is that in relation? It's like over here. Our data is the same as Vriska. Okay, so that's this. So I've got this right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me go ahead and just remove that real quick. So I guess um, there's some people. Okay. So I should explain. I'm doing that charity event tomorrow, right? And um, as part of it, we're going to have like the bent donations be like when you give $5 or more, it'll make a sound effect like that. And so someone is apparently in the, the Discord trying it out right now, and I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> and so... That was just them testing out the different, like, loud noises that'll be happening while I'm, uh... No, I didn't spoil it. I'm just... Yeah. Those are gonna be the sounds that that kind of thing will happen tomorrow during stream while I'm playing a horror game. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I already said that I was gonna do... It's on the fucking thing. It's on the fucking schedule. I didn't even spoil it. It's on the charity list. It's actually on the schedule. Yeah, it even says, it says, here, hold up. No, hold the fucking phone. I signed a contract saying that I wouldn't spoil shit. So we're going to go double check that. This website right here, right? You go here. 
And then... There it is. Saturday. And it actually will find what time you are, right? And SCP Containment j Breach featuring jump scare bits. I didn't spoil shit. Now, anyway, we were doing something about Homestuck. I need olive green, apparently, for the weird cat people. Yeah, it's about this color. That's about right. It is like olive green. And it's like right here, right? Like, closer to yellow, I think this is right. All right, uh... And then, I don't even fucking know. Like, I'm just going to draw a kitty. And it's going to be like this. Right? Watch watch these pro fucking MS Paint skills get busted out here real quick. Right? Watch this shit. Watch this. Watch this. That's kitty. Right? And you're like, man, that's pretty good kitty. Right? You're thinking, that's a good cat, Rev. Bam get some goddamn highlights going right and bam there you go that's a ball and cat that I just drew right there and then let's put some horns on it because they all must have horns because that way you don't forget the trolls despite that there's I mean like no one has any sort of like color blood thing draw a Garfield no. It's cat. This is very Dave, Rev. Everything I do is Dave, apparently. Just let's just accept that. That I just I don't even mean to. I just do things and then people are like, that's very Dave of you. Alright. Where was I? Oh, right. This was happening, and I didn't like it. I have no idea what you're talking about. You could cause quite a bother for me, the power you wield. And I can do nothing to stop you, peasant girl. So magnificently depraved. So weird. And this is coming from a ghost, Ribbit. What was that? Are you role-playing now? Stop. It's unbecoming. Sorry. You're better uh, than that. I mean, by better, I mean worse. I mean much, much worse. Downlike, coarse, and degenerate. Just reprehensible, sordid. Actually, yes. You roleplay and proceed to deepen this already ir retrievable debauchery. In fact, I command it. I command you have free will and do as you please and continue to be bothersome and unpredictably destructive. I mean, if you want. It's not really roleplaying. I'm part frog, but okay. I guess I can break off some more stuff. Ribbit. Yes, ribbit again. I really can't control the ribbits. Will I get your name right this time? E M E Y L L G E E P R O. Okay, that's that's the name of the person who asked that and who's been giving me homestuck bits. And I've been pronouncing that M E M Emily G Pro, but that's not right. It's M L G Pro. Oh, oh, that's really obvious now that you've said it in chat. Thank you, MLG Pro, for the Homestuck bits. Sorry, I'm a dumbass. There it is. You sound it out, and there it goes. Alright. Good. I solved the puzzle. I connected the dots. I got the, the cork board out. We got the string going. It all led to that single conclusion. MLG Pro, thank you for the Homestuck bits. I will make haste through this mysterious realm and find your gate. It will pose no challenge for me. Yeah, I know. I will give you your new body and take your rightful place as my subordinate. Sure. Actually, now I'm beginning to wonder what whether I want you to be my subordinate. I hope this doesn't sound too strange. Everything you say sounds strange, but maybe I'd like you to be co-leader again. Nope. 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 Do not like arm.
Uh, maybe you'd like to be co-leader again. Okay. In fact, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm entertaining this thought. It feels just vile. Try not to roll your eyes at me. I don't have pupils. I would. Would you mind terribly being the leader? Fine, but don't tell anyone. You will be the leader of me, and I will lead everyone else. You will, in effect, will be the secret leader. Yeah, sure. That's pretty much how it is anyway. Yes, that's the spirit. You take the authority well for one of your blood. Do not have blood. Thank you, Anna LRK, for the homestuck bits. I'm really sorry that you're about to witness whatever this is. I'm sorry. Okay. Now that's the spirit. Take authority well for one of your blood. I don't have blood, but not yet. Soon your heart will beating, be beating anew and through it fresh blood and fresh passion. Uh, wow, can you just bring me the robot already? On my way. Rivet. Okay. Hey, hey, Hoots. Um, I forgot to turn off the thing. So. Whoops. H how dare you? I'm sorry, we... <laughs> Did I get banned? <laughs> From the charity event that's happening tomorrow and Sunday? Benefiting Variety is Hope? I'll make something horrible for you now. So here's another thing about this uh, thing I'm doing. I actually don't have access to uh, upload the sound effects. I can just send uh, sound effects to Hootie, who has to put them in. And uh, he has been actively adding more. And uh, now it sounds like he's adding um, even worse ones. So, um... Yeah. Um, and, and now he's taking, yeah, he's, he's doing, he's doing, yeah, I gave him sound effects from SCP, so that way I couldn't trust whether or not the sound effects were from the game or whether or not they were from, um, you guys donating. And then I also put in really loud sound effects, so that way while I'm tense, someone could do that. So, um... Yeah, I mean, I, I hate to say this, but, you know, Hootie, would you mind if people sent you, like, suggestions of sound effects on Twitter for the Variety is Hope um, thing that's happening tomorrow? Maybe perhaps on Twitter? Or do you just want to go crazy and do your own shit? Because I understand that as well. Yes, it's tomorrow. I'll consider suggestions. That seems healthy. MLG Pro, thank you for the homestuck bits. See, I got it right that time. Also, that's happening in the background. And also, I, I should probably continue reading. But yes, um, tweet at me, at Hootie Owl. There you go. Um... And, and that's where you could maybe find some sound effects. Natalie's on top of that shit today. Oh, fuck. I don't have a Twitter account. Well, I can't really facilitate this uh, transaction for you. You're going to you're gonna have to figure that one out for yourself. I guess I'm just going to shit myself on stream tomorrow. That'll be fun. Um, strong jump. And then he just punched something. That's my favorite. This poses no challenge for you at all. He just does a good jump. Deliver present. <laughs> Looks nice, yes. It's perfect in every way. Ribbit, do you have a clean towel anywhere? Enter soul bot. I 
I think it suits you so much more than the form of a love levitating ghostly amphibian. How does it feel? It feels different. Okay, but do you feel anything else? Like any sort of stirring sensations? Stirring? Y yes, such as sensations that may have been stirred by uh, flowing blood and a beating heart. I'm not sure. Can you detect anything within you that might describe as a smoldering passion? I mean, just, just out of curiosity. Wait, what? what is that? What is that? Oh, this feeling. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What'd you do? Did this... Ah! Uh, <laughs> Did you program this robot to have feelings for you? Romantic feelings? Answer me now, blue blood scum. Yeah, I Yes, I took a chip in your heart. Is that not okay? Get it out. I, I guess I can uninstall it if you would just get it out. Sorry. I mean, like, listen... I've been stood up on dates before, and I, I've uh, had people turn me down on dates and shit, but um, I feel like if someone violently ripped out their own heart in, like, the ability to get away from me, like, that would be a lot worse, you know? Yeah, I don't think she's into you, my dude. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I mean, like, all of these pages are, like, 25 bucks, so we'll be at page, like, 8,000 in no time. Ha! Ah! <laughs> uh. Update wall. You consult your shipping wall. Clearly some changes are in order. Uh, you admit that you did not see this one coming, even with your remarkable matchmaking acumen. You should probably recolor all of our data's panels. It looks like she... Uh, so she looks like this robot, too. It's a major commitment keeping up with all your ships, but it's worth it. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, God. What are these? What the fuck is that? That's not good. Thank you for the uh, Emily. Thank you, MLG uh, Pro, for the the homestuck bits. What the fuck? Soft portrait where she's a cat. She's about to pounce. She loves him. Why though? She has a crush on him. What redeeming factors does he have worth having a crush about? And then, like, him and the Juggalo? I found out one of the guys that I watch, like, one of the channels that I watch on YouTube, like, he's, like, one of the co, like, I think it's on Frontline Gaming uh, Tactics. I think it's that channel. Uh, either that or the Spiky Bits one. Anyway, it's a, it's a Warhammer thing. It doesn't matter. Anyway... One of them, one of the guys, he's always, like, acted kind of weird, but I could never really, like, put my finger on what it is. But he basically admitted to being a juggalo on the last video. And that explains a great deal about his personality. Um, so, there's that happening. Just thought you should know. It's, like, the only Warhammer-related news you guys actually give a shit about. Do they they exist? People who like homes or who like yeah yeah they do. That like juggalos, yes. Whoop whoop as they say. Well, he doesn't paint himself up like a juggalo. He just kind of acts like one, I guess. Um, I forget what channel it is. It's either it's the one that the guy from Spiky Bits is on. And it's not the guy from Spiky Bits. The guy who looks like he's like 10 years old and still somehow like older than me. 
Uh, this is going to sound preposterous given our last conversation. I guess practically every conversation preceding it. I guess I'm probably going to have to do something completely disgusting like apologize. So this is weird. He, he Everyone else is going with like a shirt color relevant to their blood cast, but his is gray and gray is not a color. Or is it? Uh, even though I really hate myself for doing it, I totally mean it. Promise. I like really mean it. Are you going to ask me to join your team? Aren't you? Yeah. How'd you know? Thank you for the hundred bits. Uh, miles tails per hour. That's so great. Wait, sorry. No, I don't have a chance to apologize. That's right. You have no choice now. I apologize to myself for offering you this shitty, meaningless apology. Apology accepted. Car cat. Let's bury the thresher with a totally platonic bro bump bulge bump bump you dork do you really think your usual pedantic quips are going to bug me now i'm mean, not trying to bug you i'm trying to get you to join my damn team now step in line sec circuit gray is not a color gray is not a color on <laughs> my chart as it stands right now I don't know where it goes. Circuit? Yes, those are words. Yeah, I say words sometimes, and sometimes they make sense. Most of the time, they fucking don't. I was just betrayed and abandoned by my two accomplices, best pals, and on top of that, I'm soaked in the blood of my lusts, which I just had to decapitate myself. So, listening to a crabby asshole be all tickled with his own mediocre res retort isn't going to spoil my evening. Well, I'm sorry you had to hear about that. I mean, you did. You can't just dump her carcass into the colonel and bring her back stronger than ever. Uh, good to know, I guess. Now, why don't you hop in? The trap. Wash that nasty blue shit off and join her fucking session already. Well, it's so rude to dictate. I. Dict. B, dict I'm trying to pronounce the most B's, but it's just not going to work. B out of 10. Thank you, MLG Pro. Um, hygiene procedure to a lady. Under any circumstances, even for a douchey lo loudmouth with delusions of leadership. Maybe you should try and think about the dumb things that fall out of your protein shoot for once. Dictate. What? For to dictate hyge- Oh, it is dictate. Thank you for the, uh, 15 Terminator and one other bit, uh, Mavis. Ma M4 Davis. You know what? Mavis, I'm just fucking up reading all sorts of different ways today. It'll make Homestuck real good. Queen Banana Lee, thank you for the three months of support. Uh, anyway, you know my blood's the prettiest and you'd obviously kill to have it. No, it sucks. I'm totally happy with mine. Nice try, though. B.S. Why would you hide behind your gray, lame gray and an enemy then? Do you realize that everyone is totally lame, right? So nobody biz you, you do realize everyone thinks it's totally lame, right? It's nobody's business. I don't see why it should matter. Uh, be a matter of public record. I'm not going to wear that shit on my sleeve like you do, literally and figuratively. It's private. So everyone can go... Uh, so everyone can go point their probing busybodies sniff nodes up their own... Everyone shove their nose up their own ass. Fine. If anyone really cares, it's lame and insecure. So why don't you just tell me what I've got to do here? I await your instruction from my big shot, a blooded leader. Okay, first things first, you gotta connect to Tavros quickly and get him in the session before he gets killed. What? Can't someone else do that? No. Why? It's a big deal. Just what's the big deal? Just do it. I hate that guy. I almost tried to kill him. Who cares? This is. Is this your command decision? Getting someone who hates a guy to save his life? Pretty weak, boss. Why do you even hate him? It's fucking ridiculous. If anything, you should pity him. Especially since you were the one who paralyzed him. I know. I don't really understand it. It's really a special kind of hate. It never goes away. But it kind of makes doesn't make a lot of sense. It's a weird time to be confiding me about your feelings of a black romance. But okay. Oh god, what? Okay, hold up. All right, hold up, hold up.
Yeah, I actually don't know what these are. Alright, it's gonna explain it in like five seconds, I'm pretty sure. But Kamesis is where you hate someone like... I mean, hate and love are very, very similar in a lot of ways. It's a strong emotion that, like, whenever you think about someone, your heart can't help but racing. And and all you ever do is think about them and and what you want to do with them. Um, it's, it's basically the same thing in a lot of ways, um, sort of. More like in 100 pages, but yeah, all right. Well, we'll just wait to try and figure that shit out then. Uh, can't wait until you get to Leprechaun Romance. It's where you, like, find a pot of gold and you're just like, oh, man, I'm fucking hard now. And then the Leprechaun appears and you're like, kiss me, you bastard. And he's like, uh, okay. I'm so exhausted. You're not reading this shit. <laughs> It's magically delicious. Uh, maybe you're really implying Tavros is Kimesis, and I think you're braying up the wrong nub. Uh, both parties have to hate each other equally. I mean, like, true hate. Maybe your feelings come somewhat close to fitting that bill. But I don't think he can really hate anyone. It's weird. He's kind of broken in the head. Uh, what are you talking about? I think this subject is a lot beyond a lot of people's grasp, but I know a lot about it. Nobody ever really wants to talk to me about it, though. Whoa, really? No shit, really? Most people who haven't had their lobe stem cauterized are capable of feeling two primary emotions, hate and pity. Pity, of course, just toned down version of the central emotion, hate. All nuances of pity manifest as various forms and kinds of feelings like whatever chemical reactions trigger mating fondness or mysterious forces that are behind moral, moral rail allegiance. Monorail. Right, I remember that. Carcat. Holy fuck. So boring. A well-balanced person is going to have a good distribution of hate and the various pity humors. I mean, having a good balance keeps all the emotions sharper. See, I think that's your problem. So, wait. He's a raging asshole all the time. And he's saying that... People should be well-balanced... Emotionally. What? Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, fair enough. I hope you already wore out some good note-taking pins today, because all the pins, like all of them, see? My hate is like a finely tuned instrument because I'm aware of these principles. I could hate a whole in a paradox space itself straight through a new reality fresh for the hating uh. he's an unreliable narrator that's i don't think that's what that term means it's kind of like that one will smith movie i am legend Wh which will smith movie is it the one where like his son's in it and his son has a major role it's like take a knee and he takes an E and it's supposed to like focus him, but it's just fucking weird. What? Literally, which one? Hitch? Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Is anyone else like of the opinion that like, I don't like, I mean, like Will Smith seems like an all right guy. I just don't fucking care about seeing any movie he's in anymore. Someone gave me a Gemini Man, like, thing the other day. I was out, like, I was out and about, and someone gave me, like, a little backing thing for, like, a phone. And it's just, yeah. Anyway. Uh, like, I don't hate the guy. I'm just kind of like, why the fuck is, why is he still doing things? I mean, I guess I would keep doing things regardless, but, like, what? Troll Will Smith is apparently a romance god. All right, I'm just going to keep reading this this thing uh, because reading chat makes me depressed, and 
By the time I get to that part, I'll have completely destroyed any remaining like parts of my my brain, and uh, that'll be great. <laughs> and then I'll be okay with that. I'm just trying to do enough brain damage that I can be okay with whatever you just said. Um, no offense. <laughs> so sorry. Um, you don't even know how much I'm laughing at this, but see, you're too heavy on the hate side, or at least you pretend to be, which is maybe worse. You're not reading anything I'm saying, are you? You just want to talk and talk and talk. I think you're hating up everyone hard when you're really just burning out the entire emotional hemisphere. It's like a lukewarm hate, pretenders hate, with no counterpoint at all. As such, there's no real substance uh, to your hate. It's like a cardboard movie prop, which is why your brain is broken. Kind of like Tarvros's, but in the opposite hemisphere, I guess. Or maybe your brain is broken, led to the imbalance in the first place. I don't know. Whatever the case, you're kind of emotionally screwed, sorry to say. Your hate's too dull for a proper chemesis, in my opinion. You don't see anyone chomping out of the bit to be your mo more monorail, honestly. And there's someone out there who would... And unless if there's someone actually out there who would bother pitying, pitying you. And landing a mate sprite? Serious? Okay, hold up. So they're kimesis, which is like... You both fucking hate each other. Monorail, who's like... I'm going to tell you what to do and you do it. Uh... Then there's one about pity, and then there's mate sprite, which is what we think is dating, I guess. That's not monorail. Okay. Don't worry about it right now. Fair enough. That, I'm just trying to, like, get you guys to where I'm at, which is wrong, but I want you to understand. Can I offer you a hint? No, it's fine. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Being wrong violently and uncontrollably has gotten me where I'm at in life. Basically, any feature of your emotional profile that usually makes someone viable in the red ROM department must be totally fried. Your black ROM potential possibly, probably toast too. But hey, are you there? Yeah. I'm just starting to tune you out. Are you done? No way. I could go on. This is fascinating. Tell me how the fuck this isn't fascinating. Did you just learn all this crap in your awful romance movies? They're actually intriguing sociology, incredibly complex, sophisticated stories. You wouldn't get it. Hey, asshole, stop watching movies for girls. What part of intriguing sociology do you not understand? And they're awesome. Shut up. Uh, okay, man. Just let me connect to the stupid boy dumb fuck so I don't have to listen to this anymore. Oh, uh, wait. Never even got to the point. What is it now? I didn't need you to specifically connect to Tavros. I mean, I could get any schlub to do that. You just have to get in here as soon as possible because I really need your mind powers. You do? I mean, obviously you do. Duh. I ran into someone here and he's sort of a devil agent, I guess. His name is Jack. Oh, shit. MLG Pro, thank you for the uh, Homestuck bits. Um, you know how some people sometimes stop you before you start going on a wild tangent for like 30 minutes more rails are like that but it's a romantic thing i don't know what that means um uh, how about we go and pause for half a second so we can do a brb i actually do have plans for later tonight um lost tuka thank you for the uh bits eight i want to go with Four plus two, six. That was six bits. Thank you. It's platonic, not romantic. It's platonic, not romantic. Okay. More rails isn't romantic in any way. You just like try and it's like friends that keep you from fucking shit up, I guess. Ha. Huh. Alrighty. Um I had plans to go out and meet up with friends if I can. It may be uh where I need to just like calm the fuck down because despite the fact that like I, I am not actually like doing all of the things for uh the charity I'm still like freaking out about my block so I kind of just need to like go to bed you can't be like anxious if you're asleep 
Unless if sometimes you can be. Have you ever guys, uh, have you guys ever had a, like, not like a nightmare, but it's like an anxiety mare or a depression mare? Like, where it's not like, you know, a monster coming out of the closet and, like, ripping your legs off and beating you to death with them. It's like a, like, other thing. That, whatever that's called. But only when you're asleep. It's not called college. No. When you go to sleep, like, it's, it's like, instead of, like, a nightmare, it's just, like, so alarmingly anxious and depressing that you wake up and you're like, oh, oh, what the fuck? It's like that. I had stress dreams the other night, and it was like, I had all of these ideas for, like, the charity event, and all of them were really shit. Like, the one I gave an example of was, like, um... I was going to try and juggle basketballs for an entirety of two hours, which I need to just like say, like, I don't know how to juggle and I don't have basketballs and like, I didn't have basketballs and I didn't bother learning how to juggle. So it was just like, I was going into like the next day, just like I was waking up and it's like, it's Friday now. And it's like, not, I would still watch it. I don't, <laughs> I don't have that. I don't have that shit together to do that is my point. Um, anyway, I'm going to do like a quick two minute break um, and I'll be right back. Okay. Two minutes. BRB. Music. And I believe we're back. Welcome back, everyone. Um, I did a... Um, for any of you who haven't played uh, Hive Swap, I did a playthrough of that. Um, I guess it's relevant today because, you know, Home Suck 2 was announced. Apparently, you don't need to have played it in order to get it. You do need to have read all of Home Stuck in the epilogue, however. Uh, which means that in addition to Pester Quest now, I'm going to have to read... Homestuck 2 when we get to that, so. I'll eventually catch up. I'll eventually catch up. But if you're looking for more Homestuck content, I'm here. Music can stop. Alright. He has some inside information about his kingdom. He wants to work together with us to overthrow the Black Queen. And I said, okay... And now we need your help. Um, okay. Can I... I can try. What does he know? He recently got hold of some intel regarding a weakness in the queen's defenses. Blood. What? Look at the blood. Is that his blood? Wait, who's... What? What is that from? Uh... 
Um, mystery sauce. Oh, that's someone. He's holding it on him. So he has... Okay. So anyway, I'm just going to... Um, Here, how about I do this? Just keep reading. Okay, fine. I was trying to make, like, the thing. Uh, he said okay, and I need your help. Uh, what does he know? He, or what does he need to know? Recently got hold of some intel regarding the weakness in the Queen's defenses. I don't know any more than that. Uh, we gotta hurry and get started on this thing or it's gonna get kind of awkward. Awkward? What do you mean? Well, he's just standing here now, waiting for me, I guess. It's okay, I think he's pretty much settled down. Settled down? Well, yeah, he stabbed me once. Oh, only once. I'm sure- Are you sure you should trust him? All knows if I would, but hey, I'm not the leader. No, 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 it's cool. He's fine, I just don't really mind the stabbing. It was all a misunderstanding. I'm pretty sure he meant- Okay, I'm pretty sure that he meant to stab me, but it was kind of, uh, that thing like- the way he greets people this game is so stupid um uh, in any case i think he's probably all stabbed out Ooh, oh man well since you're bleeding could you tell ask terizzi what your blood color is good luck with that she can't see me or smell me or anything i'm way out of my hive somewhere else on the planet okay well i'll ask jack no jack won't tell i made him promise that he won't tell damn it stupid lousy tight-lipped stab happy double agents doesn't Trollian have some kind of viewport feature? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, I'm pretty sure Solix knows how to set that up, and he's been incommunicado. In, 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 he hasn't been talking for the last few hours for some reason. Anyways, the whole feature seems totally invasive and largely pointless to me, so just forget it. Yeah, okay, how about we're about to embark on an espionage mission? A uh, spying tool sounds totally useless. That's a... Another great point, Captain. Whatever. Just get your ass here so we can dethrone this goddamn queen. I mean, one less god boss we have to fight. Chat versus Rev is an unstoppable force versus an immovable object. What, do you, what, what was chat saying? Chat is now the thinging. What are you the thinging about? Incumenica... Ado. Okay, cool. There you go. Wow, that works really well. The 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 rev and the knife. Jack is just a stabby boy. Okay. Thank you for the uh the the <laughs> the home suck bits again, MLG Pro. The thing for reasons. The thing is such a not emote. I love it. I want to meet the thing. Just so I can ask him the fuck that's supposed to be. What is that emotion? Chad has suggested lust. Just get your ass in here so we can dethrone this goddamn queen. I mean, one less boss fight we have to... F or one less god boss we have to fight. Fine. I'll be right there. Just try not to lose too much of your mystery blood b and die. Be Jack a few minutes ago. You find a kid you've been looking for. He's pretty sharp tongue and you can't seem to keep it sheathed. You learn, you should be learned up front, and you're no stranger to sharp objects yourself. Oh, okay, so it's not actually his blood color, it's just like, it's like, who the fuck knows? Like, it doesn't want to spoil it for us, but it can't make it any defined color, or else that would be spoiler. Cool, alright. Okay, he won't shut up. It's not like, uh, he doesn't seem to care about the wound. He's just kind of going on about his freakish color of his blood. He doesn't want you to look at it. You just look away, he says. You gotta admit, now you're curious. Look at the knife. You don't see what the big deal is. Nothing special. Kind of kid's out of his mind. He's blubbering on and on about it. So it's red. He seems to be the only one of, I mean, I kind of felt like I knew that. Uh, he seems to be the only kind, one of his kind with this mutant candy red blood, an outcast. He thinks that he was put on this planet and covered in the ocean of his own blood to be taunted, punished for something. Saddest story you've ever heard. 
Gotta do something to shut him up. Human colored blood. Hey, hey, Jin. Homestuck 2. Yeah. So I, I promised I'd read like one page for every $25 we raised in the charity. And that essentially meant that it was 300 pages more than existed at the time of that promise. Uh, based on what we raised. But now I get to keep my promise. Isn't that great, Jin? I, I feel like you can, you can appreciate this. The thing is Jeff in control and he died. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I can't ask him about that. Um, it's human colored blood. It's the only other shade of red is Ardea, Ardea's darker red. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. <laughs> Be in cahoots with Jack. Operation Regisurp. Huge bitch. Blah, blah, blah. He's, you and your like-blooded accomplice soon put Operation Regisurp into motion. The contingency plan with the arch agent conveniently had on file and named himself. If we were drafted by a legitimate contingency firm and ostensibly have been given a better title, whose whole teams executed the plans along with the course of the journey, employing espionage, mind control tactics, political sabotage, vicious interrogations, cold-blooded assassinations. Everyone does their part, and you learn to learn the true meaning of teamwork, as well as this troll's disease called friendship. But before you can take a single, before a single step is taken, Jack briefs you on intelligence and covered by one of his agents. It is the an advantage... Over the queen, you will seize upon while she has let her guard down. With each prototyping of each player, the royalty of both sides will evolve. The queen, with her ring of orbs twelvefold, will first take on the claws and rigid carapace of your lusses, and the wings and scales of Therese's young dragon, and then the horns and gills of the cloven hooves of Gamzee's fallen custodian. And it would continue. Though the queen is a vain creature, she was sworn to her duty. She would be braced for the heavy load of augmentation ahead. She certainly withstand. So I feel like we had, we've been told this, or it was spoiled for me. I don't know. Why is Jack hating the queen such a constant about all universes? Asked Jack from chat. I don't know, Jack. Um. So it continue. Though the queen is a vain creature, she also is sworn to her duty. She braced for the heavy load of augmentation ahead. Uh, she could certainly withstand the eight uh, eyes of the arachnid, or the fairy wings might be a worse frivolous. But the great bull horns could even be regarded as striking additions. For that matter, the sultry lips of a mother grub might be very plausibly suit her. She perhaps would wear the brave face as she uh, even behind a dignified mustache of a and centauring of her lower torso could transpire without much complaint she would dutifully indulge the lactating udder and when it all is said and done doubling her head count would certainly uh surely be an insult to 11 fold injury but nothing she had essentially endured already all in, uh in the name of her kingdom but she would spare herself uh, all of these additional debasements, because before the rest came, there was one who could, uh, corruption to her figures she could not abide. Her vanity would not allow it. She could not stand the bearing of the visage of the most loathsome creature known in existence. So vile in its appearance, so contemptible in its purpose, all depictions of the creature, let alone members of its population are permanently banned from any jurisdiction in the reach of her agents. Those of its kinds by any names, and does so does the reviled patron god of the herald, the great destruction, king of pawn squatters, speaker of the vast joke, and most commonly, Bilus Slick. His true name is, of course, is of course forbidden. He wears his face, uh, and the wearing of his face is where she drew the line. Okay, frogs are important. She removed the ring and concealed it into the royal vault while she had, uh, she was quite sure that no one was looking and then retired to her private chambers where she would dispatch orders. No one the wiser of her disadvantage or so she thought. Road team, execute Operation Reserserp. 
Operation would take time to be a total success. The banished quasi-royal would make a future Alternian wasteland her home. Now it is Kermit about time. Kermit versus Elmo. Until she was given a new purpose. Remember how AR said frog runes were illegal? Yeah, that's... Okay, fair. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I actually don't understand this. This is, um... This is... 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 Hold up. That's, uh... This, this is this for them, right? No. No, it's this. Yeah, no, it's this this collection right here. I ignore the horse thing. This bit here. But at least you know nothing of the queen's aversion to the amphibious likeness or her orbs twelvefold or any such details. You were informed of her disadvantage and would act accordingly. You and your red teammates would work to dethrone the queen in your session, while the blue team members would take on an entirely separate set of royal adversaries in their own session. Uh, this was to be competition after all, or so you thought. You begin to notice a strange pattern in the blue team's prototyping that affect the mutation of your session's underlings. And your prototypings would affect theirs. And through the sign, and those signs pointed to two si distinct sessions, two mystic sets of ruins, two opposing teams, two separate chains of connected players. This is all misleading. I feel like this is the fucking, like, thing from... Um, God damn it, Dognorampa. Is that fucking thing happening again? You're in joining a particularly unusual bifurcation session meant for the start uh, to receive all 12 players through two separate connected chains. A session which Gaia, uh, about which 12 planets would circle. One army of dark and one army of light one pair of kings one pair of queens and the cantankerous arc agent and his typical disdain for authority it wouldn't be much later until much later in the session where the full chain of nearly was nearly closed that you would realize the truth the truth had always been the same session all along your teams were not competing but cooperating towards a common goal okay In a more drown-out form of this adventure's narrative, figuring out this out would have been a huge ordeal. We would have been completely blown away by the stunning revelation. Like, oh, wow, the same re session all along? Really? Huh. But since we've decided to engage in this top epic shorthand, you feel uh, we must insist that we continue this exponentially interlude. It would turn out the arrangement of the planets look like this rather than bifurcated from each other each team appearing to compromise a distinct chain in a distinct session without the luxury of a complete picture we see here it appeared that way until the time the link uh the two chains completing the circuit of the 12 uniting the teams okay update the chart all right so it's not okay hold up let me at least get it right to where i was at so uh, flip the entire chart horizontally. No, not that again. Uh, okay, one more page. Chat says, "Who is who's the who's the what is her initials? The bitch who speaks with bees. I pronounce that bitch with a an a. Um." Who is she connected to, theoretically, prior to this? Because she was told to connect up here. A.G. Oh, I see. Um, Alright, so then it's like this? That's what it theoretically was. But A.G. was over here as well. Who's T.A.? Where's T.A. in this? She's expelled from the blue team. So this is no longer correct. We're going to have to start an entirely new... Okay, let me just keep reading. 
It appeared that way until the time was linked, the two changed, completing the circuit of the 12 uniting the teams. For the final link, I'm going to look at this chart that they give us. Okay, that doesn't help. For the final two links, Skya had a plan, and it did uh, with the order of every preceding link, as it did with the paradoxical seeding of its own players on the surface of the planet that would later devastate to buy itself time. In a, its plan was inescapable as all others, inevitable as the reckoning it would ultimately face. The Mobius double reach. <laughs> All right. Okay, I've completely forgotten who's who. Please don't try and draw this. I don't feel like it's that bad. Because it's really just this connects to that and that connects to that. So you could literally just have it so that way this circle went like this. And it would be fine. They literally didn't need to do it like this. They could flip this one over to there. That one to there. That one to there. And then just have the arrows going in the right direction. It would be fine. Take a screenshot? I did take a screenshot. No, I want to I wanna, I wanna do it myself. I don't know who the fuck these people are. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. After watching the phase of the Mobius double reach around and toggle for a few minutes while in a sort of stupor, you finally snap out of it. Your attention drifts towards the two symbols. symbols. No, I was going to draw a chart, but I opted not to. Fuck you, hussy. Uh, you try to be mysterious. Uh, MLG Pro, thank you for the homestuck bits. Um, you try not to be mysterious. Uh, you try to be these mysterious characters, but you suspect you would fail. You don't bother. So we don't actually know who those two are. Though, this one is the one that is, um, right, 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 I don't want whatever that is. So that's Aquarius. So he's the fish fuck. He's the rich asshole. I haven't met him yet, but everyone's like, well, he's your patron troll, so you should give a shit about him. Fuck you. After watching the fate, you try a mysterious character but suspect you would fail so you don't bother. They're too, way too mysterious for you to uh, be them yet. Seriously, what's up with those guys? Do they live underwater or something? What's their deal? We'll learn about them a little later. I kind of wish I had to face Cam on for that moment. Um... For this matter, who is this young lady? What's her deal? We'll probably find out about her too later. It'll be quite some time before we get to be with her. Uh, it'll be quite a few pages and pages and pages. And pages and pages. Seriously, it could take forever. Okay. Now hold up. Hold up. Um, I'm just gonna... Just gonna take this. Move it over here. Wait, why do you have like the the shitty selection thing going should be select white yeah I think I can do this chart real fast chat says chainsaw lesbian so you know things are going about as well as that all right you can just be over here this is wrong I'm not fixing it I'm just gonna like wait hold up before I put the X's in it no, actually, no. I can just put X's in it. I don't even give a shit. All right. No, that's wrong. All right. So, anyway. Um, I'm going to try and fix this chart. AT. Nope. Need to be get way smaller than that. AT. That's exactly the same size. But this time, I'm satisfied. Uh, goes to Gamzy. Got it. Gams. Got to have those Gams. Um, that goes to GC. I think this is correct so far. You already ran out of room. I'll just shrink it down if I have to. I don't give a shit. Do I have room somewhere else? I've got room over there. I'm going to move it over there. Excuse me, Dave Strider. Okay. Just 
and then you can go over there. It's fine. All right. It's Gamzy. Yeah, I know. But, you know, also fucking it's fine. All right, so that goes to AG. And AG is like this color. So this is supposed to be the blue team, right? But somehow... I feel like I need to have this circle go a little wider. Excuse me. I'm going to get this right. Why does this feel like I'm just erasing like horribly? Oh, no. There's just a hair on my screen right there that happens to be like falling right where that line was. All right. So gams to... Um, GC. Okay. G. C. It's kind of weird how everyone gives a shit about their blood cast. Despite the fact that like some of them actively hate the fact that they have a blood cast. Like. Some of them act like they're not as bad as what's his name. Horse fuck. But he's still like. He's really not that much different than a lot of them and how racist he is. He's just actively more racist about it than anyone else. And then that goes to AG. Okay, but this isn't right anymore. Because AG is here and goes to... You wrap around if you go over 12. Isn't it better to use their names? No, it's okay. I should probably learn their things too anyway. You need a bigger chart. Yeah. Reverse the 18. You're fine. Okay. Please read. I'll just read. Okay, sorry. You can seriously take forever. This Your name is... Can I... Uh, Mir Mar Mariam. You're one of the few of your kind who can withstand the blistering Alternian sun. Perhaps the only, only who can enjoy, uh, enjoys the feel of its rays. As such, you're one of the few of your kind who have taken a shining to landscaping. You have cultivated a lush oasis around your hive. And is this the jade of the, the trolls? It seems like it. Kania. Kania. Wow, that's... Wow, okay. All right. K Kania. All right. Not really. Mm, okay. No. That's her. Okay. I mean, that's that's interesting. That's not how you pronounce it. No, you're right. Ken. Aya. Kenaya. Can I, yeah, can I, uh, got it, did it. Good job, everyone. Round of applause, everyone. Just high fives. Okay. You convenient, uh, wait, hold on. Uh, you've honed your craft through the art of topiary, sculpting your trees to match the puffy oracles of your dreams. You embrace the tool of this trade, which is conveniently the weapon of choice for when you hunt the heinous, heinous broods of the underdead, undead, underdead, what? which crawl from the sands at sunrise to feast upon the light of the living. It would be convenient if you actually hunted them, but it is actually, of course, far too dangerous. Every bit as suicidal as attempting to poach the terrible muscle beasts who roam at night. You indulge your bright fascination with the grim uh, through literature, just as before the sun goes down, you join your flora with the rest. You immerse yourself in the tales of rainbow drinkers and shadow droppers, so a rainbow drinker is someone who drinks troll blood. Like a troll vampire. I remember that. I remember that from um, uh, Hive Swap Friend Sim. That came up as a thing. Shadow Droppers and Forbidden Passion. I don't know what those two are. Uh, you are one of the few of your kind with jade green blood. As such, you are one of the few who are selected to be and raised as a virgin mother grub. In an event so rare as to elude document pre documented precedent she would defend you uh from desert threats through her life would be short 
In time, you assure her of prodigy. What? As a mother grub. So she becomes like, it's like when the queen bee dies in like a... A new mother grub became her custodian. You misread. Okay, hold up. Uh, rare faint, uh, version mother grub. In the variant so rare as you elude the document of a new human new. Uh, she's more like a name. Oh, okay. So no, wait. Hold up. So she's she's the she's the the baby mom thing. She was raised by a mother grub. Oh, what the fuck? She was actually raised by one of those things? Okay. Cool. I got it. Carlone, thank you for the three months of support. So basically, she's baby is what Chad is telling me. Okay. What is a Binyanyan doing there? It's doing whatever the fuck I want it to because it's my goddamn chart. Um, sorry, that was way more aggressive than it needed to be. I just like bananians. Um, uh, you're one of the few of your, okay, uh, you're one of the few of your kind whose affection for the aesthetic strongly overpowers your instinctive regard for utilitarian, uh, for the utilitarian. As such, you're the one of the few of your kind who's developed a seal for fashion and design and lively color patterns. You decorate your hive with flora and fabric and as delicately as, or aggressively as inspiration demands. You're a seamstress and a rag ripper or a trees trimmer or a lumberjack. Uh, whichever you care to be, your unique hive is equipped with the great supply of advanced technology to accommodate your interests. The technology and indeed the hive itself were all recovered from the renoons nearby when you were very young. The seeds of your hive were deployed on volcanic rocks beneath the sands. With the assistance of your lusses and her remarkably... Uh, remarkable burrowing skills you have lived there happily together ever since you know the ruins of the hives and everything here is that is not sand and rock originated from the world of your dreams you also know that one day you will be uh, you will visit this world while you are awake that it, day is today your troll tag is grim alatrix you tend to enunciate each word as you speak very clearly and carefully. What will you do? Um, probably wrap up for the day and equip chainsaw. What chainsaw? You're quick. Sure. You, there is no chainsaw leaning on that bookshelf. There are, is, however, a tube of lipstick on the floor. Fine. Equip that then. All right. Settle down. No need to get hysteric. Mm, that looks like something else. There goes your warp robe fire again. Never a dull moment in fashion when you ran when the randomization cycle is on. Yeah, see, that's why I think that she's <sighs> that she might be the jade. Um, no one was thinking that. What do you mean? What'd you guys think? I was thinking a bullet. Why, why are you guys saying that? Like a gun bullet. It seems like a reasonable thing to have as your, your strife spectibus thing. Anyway, continuing on. I don't know. If you guys are going to be weird about it. I don't even know what you guys were thinking. No, you weren't. Backpedaling extreme? No. I'm just trying to make you guys feel awkward about thinking it too. Anyway, you choose between your trademark jade or black. Even though the troll's lips are naturally black, you can always be blacker, and a lady with a true sense of style knows this. In any case, you think you'll be mixing things up and go for green for a while. By the way, it's Seto Kaiba's birthday. Happy birthday, Seto Kaiba, you fucking bastard. Alright, anyway, um... On that awkward note, I suppose, I should probably um, wrap up so we can see if the thing that I was supposed to do um, is happening. But, 
I'm like not used to actually having plans with people. Um, so I guess we'll answer CC next time, whoever that happens to be. Who can tell me what's happening tomorrow? I've been shilling it all of this time. What is happening tomorrow? I want you guys to say it's so that way I know I've drilled this into your goddamn hat head. Homestuck 3, no. I don't know. Jump scares, donation stuff. The heck raiser, yes. The charity event of which I will be streaming on. You can go to at Variety is Hope on Twitter. You follow that, and then you 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 can find all the information you want to know, including when I'm going to be live tomorrow, which is sometime in the afternoon, depending on where in the world you live. Uh, probably closer to like six-ish, I think, if you're in like Europe. But you should probably go check the chart for yourself rather than trust me, because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hope suck too for charity. Maybe we'll see. I already promised to read 300 pages of it apparently, because Hussy decided to release more Homestuck. So assuming that it's not 300 pages, then I'm off the hook for whatever I promised. But you know, Rev, draw my persona. And with that, that is where we'll be ending the stream for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me check and see if there's any art actually, real quick. Um, looks like there are two new arts. Let me... Three new arts. Let me check the new arts. There's one new art. And there's another new art. And then there's another new art. And uh, today's Chrono game is a horror game called The Coma Recut. Uh, I actually have no idea what the fuck this is. I think it's a... Uh, I actually have no idea what the hell this is. It's a game. You could buy it. And if you do, I get a cut. So, cool. Um, anyway, let me show you, uh, let me show you the arts real quick. Uh, the first one is from Shanagan. Um, let's see, where's the borrow? Ba -ba 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 -da -da -ba. You can't see, I know. I gotcha. I gotcha. I had to find the screen region first. Uh, first one's from Shanagan, and it says, Variety is Hope, October 26th to 27th. I will be doing some of the multiplayer blocks as well, assuming I remember to install the things that I said I'm going to. So, um, I may be live on the 27th as well. Uh, Variety is Hope on Twitter. Um, it's very cute. Thank you. It's good. I like ghosts hugging. That's good. That's my aesthetic. Um, then you got this one from IchiArt. And it's of uh, me walking up behind um, Kanye West, who released a new album today. It's I've listened to about five seconds of it when someone realized that one of the beats kind of sounds like um, the the Gerudo Valley theme. Um, it's fucking awful. Just vibe check Kamado with a shotgun. There you go. Um, thank you, Ichi Art. Um, and um, then we got this one from Anna LRK um, of quite possibly the second worst moment that I've experienced. The worst moment was about two frames later. Um, and I feel like I'm justified in saying that. And I feel like I probably won't change my opinion on that. I feel like I'll continue to have that opinion forever. That those were the worst fucking panels of the comic. So thank you for... Uh, doing a really good art to allow me to remember that awful moment. Um, believe me, Rev, it's going to get worse. Oh, good. That's exactly what I want to hear. Worse than horse dong? Yeah, worse than horse dong. Some people definitely agree with you. Um, I don't like this. I don't like that patch. <laughs> I don't like that chat is like... Nah, it's not that bad in comparison to what happens later. Great. Thank you, Anna. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. And uh, check the weather to see if I can actually leave my apartment without dying. Um, I will be probably raiding whoever's live right now. Because I assume that someone is live. 
but yeah, go follow twitch.tv slash variety is hope and I'll see you there tomorrow. Bye.